I'm going to show you a free self-hosted alternative to Google Photos. You'll be able to upload your videos and photos for free. The only payment that you're going to have is your hosting service. But take it this way. If you already have websites on that hosting service, this is going to be practically there for free. So it won't cost you a single cent more. So this is image and it has a system where you're able to upload your photos and videos where you can manage them and you can even share them via link, which is super useful. Plus, it's actually really, really good. So let me show you how to get this on your server. Now, we are going to need a Docker here on Hostinger. That's what I'm going to use because that's where we're going to install image. And as I mentioned, all you need is the hosting provider payment. That's going to be the only payment that you're going to have. Now, we're going to need Docker. If you didn't install Docker in the beginning when using Hostinger, not to worry, in the OS panel and operating system, you can change it right here to Docker if needed, and then install all your websites. So not to worry about that. Let me go ahead and find Docker. Here it is. Go ahead and install it, and you'll have Docker available, and you're going to have access to Docker Manager to install multiple GitHub repositories without having any issues. Now, the sponsor for this video is actually Hostinger. So if you're looking for a BPS plan to install Docker and install multiple applications, this is a great option. Now, right now, they are running the Black Friday sale, which is the lowest price in the year so you definitely want to take advantage of it right now you can grab plans from 4.99 and all the way up to 19.99 for a bps plan you're going to have great resources for what you're going to pay so i'm going to show you this most popular one which is the kbm2 that starts at six dollars for 49 cents i'm going to choose this plan which includes two cpu cores eight gigabytes of ram and 100 gigabytes of mdme storage which is really fast okay now the first thing that hostinger is going to ask you is how many months do you want to pay in advance I recommend the 24 months because you're going to lock in the lowest price and the lowest renewal price. Now, this is the current pricing. But if you click on have a coupon code and type in my code or paste it in, the price is going to drop to $140 with 18 cents. That's for two years paid off for a BPS that you'll be able to install multiple GitHub repositories inside of there. Now, once you go through the purchase process, I do recommend that you go into applications and install Docker straight from here. That way you don't have to do it afterwards. Once you do that, you'll be able to have access to the Docker manager. Now, in this case, I already have image installed, but I'm going to show you how to do this. So if you go to GitHub and you search for image, you'll be able to find it right here. The link that you're going to need is going to be here in the code section. I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to go into my Docker manager in Compose. I'm going to go to URL. I'm going to paste in the link. and I'm just going to remove the dot git from the project name and from the link. Once I'm good to go, well, I already have a project name like this. So image two. I'm going to deploy and the Docker manager is going to take care of the rest by pulling in those files from GitHub and installing an image on my server, which is pretty cool, right? Once you have that ready, you're going to find it right here. Now, currently, I don't have a connected domain, but I'm going to use the domain provided by Hostinger. So I'm going to go into this option here and I'm going to go through the IP address and this will give me access to image. Now, the first screen that you're going to see when you install image is the actual asking for, for example, your name, username, and password. That's gonna be like the main interface to log in to have access to image. Now this is hosted on my server and that's gonna depend on my resources. So depending on the storage that I have here is what I'm going to have available. Well, here on image. Now it's super easy to upload something. You can just drag and drop inside of here from the file manager, or you can click on the upload button and just upload something from here. And boom, we now have it available here. Now, you'll be able to do multiple things in image, including, for example, selecting this one right here. I'll be able to share this and I can share this with a custom URL. I can password protect it. I can provide a description. I can make it expire in certain amount of time. Show metadata, allow public users to download. If you don't want to allow download and just viewable, go ahead and turn this off. Allow public users to upload, etc. So I'm just going to say test for this and I'm going to create the link. And I'll have my link ready to go. In this case, I'm just using an IP, but if you have your own custom domain, that will show correctly. Okay. So you got a QR code and you got a link ready to go to share your images and videos really easily. Remember, you are hosting this. Now, one of the coolest things about this is that it, the file manager for this, the managing of photos and videos, is really great. I mean, it's not some cheap, free, random software out there. This has really been well developed to have something really good. You also have the option to explore. You got your option for map. For example, if you want to create a map here, that is possible. Here we go. You got your sharing options, your favorites, your albums, utilities, archive, locker folders, etc. 
here's the storage that i have you here remember i am in the kvme2 so it's 100 gigabytes of storage total but i have some github repositories there so i'm sharing my storage with my server storage so you have to consider that there okay now on the right i have the option to make this y dark theme view my notifications go into my account settings so remember i have full access to this even api keys and all this is included in the free version because i'm using this self hosted version i also have access to the administration side of this so i can view the users the jobs the settings and these are the settings for the whole thing i can create users authentication settings all of that external libraries that i can bring inside of here the server stats for this and I have full access to this because i have it hosted on my docker here on hostinger so if you want to have image and host your own images and photos without having to give access to google microsoft or some other company out there and just host it yourself for privacy security issues or if you just don't want to pay for those services month to month this is a great option to start using so definitely check out image like i said it's super easy to install on hostinger docker plus you'll be able to install multiple github repositories in the hostinger manager docker so go ahead and sign up right now for your hosting or bps plan and if you plan to grab a hosting plan don't forget to use my coupon code sas master and that's a wrap